Mr. President, the Rangers lost 15 nothing last night. What? <laughs> yeah, look, it says that you're on my smart phone. 1121, I'm meeting 1130. I know. Why don't you wake me up, dick? <laughs> Bring this way harder than it needs to be. All right, Mr. President, let's go. Oh my god, I quit my ass. I very much appreciate all y'all's coming out here to support me. Uh, well, now I'll take questions from the crowd. Uh, yeah, see you in the back. What are your plans for the future of this country? Uh, there's very much in store. There are very many issues with which we were, me and my administration are deeply concerned about in a deep and very concerning manner. Uh, we will take action on these situations. Uh, one very, very, very very, very great invention that has come to my attention in the past couple years that we now have invented the a million dollar bill. It has my face in the front and Disneyland on the back here. So I, I figured you guys would like that one. And um, we also are inventing a new kind of sock. We are going to call it sockets. And uh, they actually have uh, pockets in the socks. So be on the lookout for that one. Just... Next. Uh, you, you, the girl in the front, yeah. How are you going to take care of the crisis that is Katrina? Oh, we're going to find her. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're going to bring Katrina to justice, and we're going to make her pay for what she has done. And Katrina will most definitely serve time and pay the damages that she caused New Orleans and all the people here. That, will, And she, she will pay for her actions. Uh, you, you in the back there. What are your thoughts on foreign policy? Well, uh, the policy of, uh... What, you got her? Oh, um... I apologize. One of my advisors had just told me that, uh, Katrina is in fact a hurricane and it cannot be found because she's no longer existent and she is not a person, so I apologize for that one. Uh, continue with your foreign policy. Oh, yes, I was talking about foreign policy, that's correct. Um, well, uh, uh, the, the policy of foreign can be, uh, can be defined as foreign policy, which is the policies that foreign nations dis display. Is that what you're looking for? Uh, Mr. President, foreign policy is government plans to deal with other nations. Right, I'm going to be straight up honest. I have no idea what the hell foreign policy is, so uh, next question, please. Oh yes, the pretty young lady over there in the in the red and the, uh, the in the on the right. Yeah, yeah. Is he, the conflict in the Middle East winnable? Well, I believe that um, number one that this conflict in the Middle East is winnable with Iraq and Al Qaeda, and uh, uh, we also have reasons to believe that Al Qaeda did back up the support for Hurricane Katrina because you know Katrina and Qaeda they both start with the sea. Um, but most importantly, we do have a plan to take care of Al Qaeda and Iran and Iraq, and. That that plan is currently in the plan. Are you sure? Hundred percent. My father told me that Katrina starts with the K and Al Qaeda starts with the Q, but obviously I think he was a child that was left behind. So we're we're just gonna let that go. Um. Anyways, though, we were talking about the Middle East conflicts. We do have plans for these conflicts, and the, these plans are currently in the planning stages, and the planification of uh. The plans and you know, uh, you know what they say. The, a plan, the best made plans are uh, uh, plans, plans that are made. Yeah, that. Nah. All right. Uh, 
You, you, sir. Uh, do you use Facebook, Mr. President? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg is a sucker for me. Uh, yes, I do use Facebook. Uh, um, you can find me at George underscore W the W Bush. Uh, I believe that is a great and pivotal invention that was invented, and uh, it's a great way to keep up with family reunions. And uh, recently, I got my grandmother's uh, pumpkin pie recipe, and I, it oh, she made my best pumpkin pies in the world. Uh, so Facebook has definitely allowed many, 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 and has many advantages to it that advantage us in our advantages. Yes, sir. Can I follow you, Mr. President? Um. That, that, no, no, I will never be your friend. I will never want to be your friend, no. Uh, next, any more questions? Uh, yes, uh, you, you sit in the back. I understand you visit less fortunate families. How do you, how does this impact you? Well, uh, recently I have gone out and visited the more unfortunate families of this country, and I discovered that there, I mean, it is getting harder and harder every day for individuals to put food on their family. And not only is it the less fortunate, but I believe that humans and fish can one day coexist peacefully. So, uh, what? what? Uh, I just, before we are out of time, uh, thank you all for coming here and have a, have a W day. Hey, Jeff, go along. Are you serious? Figure it out! Sorry, George. Oh, hi. Didn't see you standing there. I'm George W. Bush. Nice to meet you. This right here is my farmer state. I love the summer so much, you know. Summer season, so much about it. Sitting out here in my back patio, playing catch the football, not to mention my other favorite thing, grilling. This right here is a beaut. Pro Series by Brinkman, the official grill of the White House. Get ten. Eh, whatever. Oh hi, this is your sand there. I'm George W. Bush. And isn't it a beautiful day in my White House lawn? I love doing these aerobic exercises. The only thing I love more than exercises is powering. I drink four every day to help keep me strong. Powering. The advanced electrolyte system. <laughs> Man, I just love nature. Beauty. Oh, I didn't see a stand there. George W. Bush here. Look at this. Soak it in. It's a beauty. I can just eat this stuff up, you know, a little bit of relaxing and grow out my soul patch, a little R&R. &R. But you know what I love more? I love a nice can of Coke by the wonderful people at Pepsi Cola. Ah! Oh! Coke! It's delicious! I promise. Boy, do I love being here at my West Texas ranch. Hello, America. It's your beloved Commander-in-Chief. Yes, that's right. Commander-in-Chief of the world, George W. Bush. Now, usually I like to be very comical and I like to have, share a couple jokes with you guys, but today I'm here talking to you about something serious, and that is the presence of global warmings. Now, global warmings is a serious, serious issue in our country, and... For years, the UV rays from the sun has warmed our planet from the, and the Earth's crust, rather. And now those UV rays are significantly intensifying. And this intensification of the UV rays has now led to increased lava flows across the Earth. 
See, the thing is, I believe that uh, global warming is not necessarily true. I mean, it was hot back then when the Earth was first made 6,000 years ago with Adam and Eve. I mean, you didn't see them run around with clothes on. Why? Because it was so hot. Biblical times, people. I'm not making this stuff up. I hear on the news and the internet that, uh, on average, about 13 miles of polar ice caps have melted a day. Normally, I I'd be concerned, but I mean, he heck, I mean, if the polar ice caps were more like Texas and my beautiful ranch here, I mean, my, my horses aren't affected by the warnings. Of <laughs> Shut up, buttercup. My, my, my horses are not affected by the warning of the globular surface. I mean, who comes up with these statistics and strategies of scientists presenting these facts about global warming? I mean, is it even real? Is this global warming even factual? This message was brought to you by the President of the United States. <laughs> hey, that's me! <laughs> Good day, Mr. President. Oh, shucks. You all comfy? Yes, sir. All right. Well, see you in the morning, Mr. President. Wait, Dick. Dick, wait. Yes, Mr. President? Can you make sure that Osama's not under the bed again? Yep, of course, Mr. President. You sure? I'm positive he's not under there this time. You're a good man. I know. Anything for you, Mr. President. Have a nice night. You too, Mr. President. <laughs> yeah, Lisa. I need Dick. Dick Cheney, yeah. <laughs>